Really? Yeah. You're still angry? Yeah. Get over it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Devils in the Details. I'm BD. And I'm Dan. So, Sony has been very, very hard at work on the reboot of one of their beloved franchises. God of War. And while it's not a full reboot, it is a complete refresh of how this series looks. We have a whole new battle system, a whole new look. It's amazing. We recently got a really interesting look at the gameplay, which recently leaked online. Yeah, it's got a lot of people talking about it, including us. It looks like they're taking a beat from the recently released mega hits such as Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Uncharted, The Last of Us, and uh, the Tomb Raider reboot. It seems as though they're getting away from the fixed cinematic camera perspective in favor of an over-the-shoulder, much closer and visceral action view. Yeah, absolutely. And didn't EA, you know, one of the biggest companies in gaming, say that nobody wants single-player games anymore? They did. Yeah, I mean, that seems wrong. Thanks, EA. Know. Thanks for ruining it for us. God of War has been a massive success for Sony ever since the initial release in 2005 on the PlayStation 2 and has become one of the console's flagship titles. It absolutely has. It spawned six sequels, including a mobile game, which I can't find anywhere, by the way, appearing on almost all generations of the Sony PlayStation except for the PS1. Yeah, I think that mobile game is actually designed for an older series of phone. I, I I think it might have actually been for the end gauge of all things, and that's going back a long ways. Every game in the franchise has been remastered and ported forward. Yeah, from the PS2 to the PS3, the PS3 to the PS4, and even the PSP games made an appearance on the PS3. I mean, this is probably one of the most ported franchises in history, to be honest. I'm sure we could dig around and find something else. Or you can leave it in the comments down below if you already know. So what's the origin story behind the God of War series? Glad you asked. It's the story of Kratos, a Spartan warrior who was tricked into killing his own family by Ares. After he killed his family, the village oracle used the ashes of his family to bind to his skin, which explains why he has the white skin. All right, well, that can't be it. Well, no, of course not. There's so much more to Kratos. I mean, come on. The guy is a god. He's the son of Zeus. Well, one of them. It was after killing Ares that he himself became the god of war. It also defined his character and motivations, which can basically be summed up with one word. Vengeance. And there's a whole lot of vengeance in God of War. So what I do remember from the gameplay is that, I mean, it's a lot of action-based elements to it with some puzzles, and it's really, really simple and easy to pick up. I mean, I played it for five minutes at your place and started doing combos, and, you know, ten minutes later, I'm kicking ass. Which a lot of people faulted the game for. It's They, they said it was a little bit too easy. Well, you know what? It's a fun hack-and-slash kind of game. You can't expect too much complexity from it. And that's why they offer a difficulty setting. Which brings us to Kratos' signature weapon. The Double Chain Blades, which are given different names during the series depending on which game you're playing or even up to which level you've got them upgraded to. Well, I know one of them are called the Blades of Chaos. Blades of Chaos, there's the Blades of Exile, and there's also the Blades of Athena. The blades are actually seared into his flesh and connected with a pair of chains which wrap around each arm. What made the game so much fun to play was its fluidity and the slickness of the animations. There were no jerky motions, whether taking a hit or transitioning from one combo to another. The animations remained seamless no matter what you did. Excellent gameplay balance combined with inspired level design made it a total blast to play. The combat feels absolutely satisfying. The collision detection between Kratos' weapons and the hordes of enemies that he has to deal with always felt spot on, showing just how polished the game was. The sound design for the game was just as impressive as the gameplay. The audio integrated perfectly into the game. It did. Uh, the epic score was mind-blowing. Uh, the voice acting, all the special effects, from the sword slashes to the blood splattering, including the sounds of the enemies and the giant monsters. And we have to talk about the boss battles. I mean, they are just epic in scope. Humongous set pieces, sweeping camera angles that pulled away and then snapped back to Kratos to show just how huge some of these boss battles were. 
The game truly sucked you in and made for some outstanding, fun, and exciting gameplay. I mean, a literal Clash of Titans. And another aspect of the franchise that I absolutely loved was the developer's spin on Greek mythology. Yeah, the inclusion of so many gods, titans, and heroes was a refreshing take on the mythos. We had the likes of Hercules, Poseidon, Hades, Artemis, Helios, Icarus, and there was so many more. Yeah, and I'm glad to see that even in the next game, we're going to see that mythology remain intact. Except that this time around, the developers are taking it to the Norse mythology instead of the Greek. And they also considered doing Egyptian mythology, but decided on Norse. Yes! So what do we know so far? Not much. We do know that it's a sequel to God of War 3. We know that it's taking the franchise in an entirely new direction. That Kratos acts as a mentor and protector to his son Atreus. We know that he doesn't use his double chain blades anymore. They've instead been replaced by a magical battle axe named Leviathan, which instantly reminded me of Thor's hammer Mjolnir. Once again, it's an action-based game with integrated puzzle elements. Although I don't think that you'll be able to jump from one character to the other. I believe you're right, but they did say you would be able to passively control Atreus to perform certain tasks. Shoot it! He'll be able to help out in combat, traversal, you know, helping the pair get from point A to point B, and puzzle solving. And the leaked footage is stunning. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I want to play this yesterday. From the battle axe, whether he's throwing it or just hammering away at an enemy. Or his shield that seems to come out of nowhere, but actually folds up and appears as uh, armor on his left on arm. On his left arm. He'll also be able to use the shield to block attacks. He'll be able to use it as a ram or a shoulder charge. Uh, he'll also have some hand-to-hand -hand combat options, a feature that was first introduced in Ascension. And you have to mention the loading screens, or lack thereof. Yeah, there are absolutely no loading screens in this, aside from, of course, when you first load up the game. But then everything else is seamless. The whole world is just one big adventure. And we haven't seen that since Xenoblade Chronicle X, I think. And again, man, the gameplay looks astonishing and, and intense and satisfying. You'll be able to infuse the battle axe with different elements. Uh, probably something you want to switch depending on what type of enemies or bosses you're fighting. Yes, the upgrade system from the previous game is also being carried forward. You'll be able to upgrade your weapon with different runes. The game is said to contain RPG elements as well as crafting, which will be key to upgrading skills as well as weapons. And if you haven't marked it on your calendar yet, the release date for the game is April 20th. 420, baby. 420. If only our channel was big enough that maybe Sony would send me an advanced copy. Good dream, right? Yeah, it probably won't happen. Yeah, probably not. We hope you enjoyed our episode this week, and a huge shout out goes to our patrons who help support us every month. Thank you very much. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. If you bought the game, pre purchased it, if you played the other ones, just give me some feedback. We always appreciate it. We love you. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Bring me more gods to slay! There are no gods left. No Greek gods. Ha! Prepare to meet your maker! Dost thou mean Stan Lee? Oh! <laughs> Is that the best you can do?